Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plexus uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, theory to practice and uh, this is lesson 26 and in this uh, tutorial we are going to investigate the elastoplastic analysis of drain footing using Plexus uh, 3D. So uh, first of all uh, before we uh, start modeling this uh, drain condition in Plexus uh, 3D uh, I will shortly uh, explain what is the drain condition. So the drain condition of the soil is when uh, there is no uh, excess pore water pressure in the soil. And uh, this situation can happen uh, in uh, saturated uh, soil uh, when the soil has when, when the soil has a very high hydraulic conductivity and uh, or uh, slow roading, uh, slow loading rate when uh, uh, the load is applied in a slow rate, and this uh, condition uh, allowing uh, the excess pore water pressure to dissipate very quickly. Also, if uh, a long time has passed after loading, so any excess pore water pressure will have dissipated, and this condition also resulting a drain condition regardless of uh, the type of the soil. So the uh, properties of the soil uh, which are going to be used in this uh, tutorial are listed in uh, this table. The soil is a clay soil and we have a uh, elastoplastic model which is more column under the drain condition and these are uh, the other properties of the soil like uh, saturated and saturated unit weights and uh, elasticity cohesion friction angle and poison ratios also the foundation uh, in uh, this uh, tutorial will be one meter by one meter so the dimension of the found, uh, foundation is one meter by one meter which is a square footing and the material is a reinforced concrete as you see listed in uh, this table so let me open uh, lesson 26 uh, i have already uh, modeled uh, this condition and i will quickly uh, talk about every steps because it is very easy and i will not uh, model uh, from the beginning to the end because we uh, modeled uh, similar conditions and similar examples uh, in previous uh, lessons and also uh, there are many examples in my youtube channel you can see it how to uh, define the soil geometry boreholes and uh, foundation and uh, stage construction uh, steps so uh, first of all i want to uh, show you the project properties so uh, as I uh, said uh, this is lesson 26 and uh, the contours or the dimension of the soil contours are uh, 14 uh, meters by 14 meters so you can uh, set up the dimensions of x and x max y minimum and y maximum like this and also we have one uh, borehole here you can double click on it and the height of the borehole is uh, 10 meter and also the water table is located uh, 0.5 meter below the ground surface and uh, these are also the coordinates of the borehole okay so after you uh, model uh, the soil geometry and the borehole we uh, proceed to structures and uh, i already let me hide uh, this surface i already defined uh, the foundation so it is very easy you can uh, watch a previous example you just create a surface and after that you convert it to plate and after that you assign the material to the uh, to this uh, foundation so uh, these are the, the coordinates of the foundation which is uh, one meter by one meter and also uh, to make the refinement for the mesh around the foundation i have drawn this surface again so uh, these are the dimension of the uh, surface also this is just a surface and uh, with uh, no material and uh, the properties of the soil i want to show you the properties of the soil as i said it is a clay soil and mohair column under drain condition 
and these are the unit weights and also uh, these are the elasticity properties and strength properties of the soil and we uh, will not use any interface in this example okay and also I uh, want to show the properties of the foundation as I say the foundation is one meter by one meter which is a uh, square footing and these are the properties of the foundation as well also in this example let me just hide this surface in this example uh, I have uh, used a point load so it is very simple you just click on uh, create load and select a point load and the point load is applied at the center of the foundation and uh, the amount of point load in this example uh, will be uh, 200 kilonewton so after these uh, steps we proceed to the mesh and uh, in mesh I use uh, 0 0.25 as a coarseness factor for the foundation and the surface around the foundation and also I use uh, the medium mesh in this example you can see uh, the generated mesh as in here so as you can see uh, we have a final mesh of the foundation and the soil around the foundation so after that we uh, proceed to uh, stage construction mode and uh, also we have uh, three construction phases we have initial phase and uh, in initial phase the K0 procedure have been, uh, has been used as a calculation type and after that we have the phase of the construction of the foundation so in here we uh, reset the displacement to zero also in uh, yeah, the phase after the foundation we have a vertical load and uh, in this uh, two phase also we have a plastic, calcul a plastic uh, uh, calculation uh, type uh, so uh, in initial phase uh, we just have the soil geometry and boreholes and in the foundation phase the plate should be activated which is uh, the uh, concrete footing and in the vertical load we have uh, the point load and it should be activated uh, it is uh, 200 kilonewton and also you can uh, select a point at the center of the foundation for uh, uh, drawing the load displacement curve of the foundation so you can click on here so I think I have already uh, defined uh, the point yes the coordinates of the point is 0, 0, uh, 10 at uh, z uh, uh, direction so I update and I have already uh, calculated uh, this uh, simulation so I will just uh, click on the view calculation results so as you can see uh, this is a deformed shape of the problem and uh, also we can uh, see the uh, total displacement in z in z direction maybe we can take a section like this as you can see this is a, a total uh, displacement in z direction and we can check also uh, the pore water pressure excess pore water pressure as you can see the excess pore water pressure is uh, zero in this example uh, this is because we used uh, the drain condition and in the next example we will use uh, uh, elastoplastic uh, analysis of footing uh, of undrained footing so we will investigate uh, uh, the excess pore water pressure occurs uh, uh, during the loading of the foundation so in this example it is uh, zero because uh, it is drained condition and no excess pore water pressure uh, occurs and uh, also we can extract the load uh, settlement curve of the foundation and I already uh, 
extract it and draw it and extract it to the uh, Excel so uh, this is uh, the load uh, displacement curve of uh, the foundation uh, for and uh, for the uh, drain footing uh, uh, condition uh, so uh, you must uh, you have to extract the M stage and use it and also uh, when uh, we convert uh, the point load to the uh, pressure as you can see I multiply the M stage by 200 uh, kilonewton and divide by 1 the 1 is uh, the area of the foundation because uh, the foundation dimension was 1 meter by 1 meter so the area is 1 meter square so uh, by doing this we convert uh, the point load to the uh, pressure and uh, this curve uh, as you can see is a relationship between the pressure and settlement of the foundation and if we want to estimate the ultimate bearing capacity from uh, this uh, load settlement curve we can uh, draw two tangent lines from uh, the first portion of the curve and the last portion of the curve and uh, approximately it was about 150 kilonewton per square meter and a little bit uh, uh, smaller than 150 kilonewton uh, so as you can see also the settlement uh, corresponding to this uh, ultimate load is about uh, uh, 60 millimeter about uh, 6 uh, centimeters so uh, this was for uh, this example and uh, in the next example we will uh, investigate the uh, we will investigate the elastoplastic analysis of undrained footing uh, using Plexus uh, 3D. So I hope it was beneficial and thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.